the rumors are, you know, fed into a ripe audience because the racism, I mean, when you look at these rumors, these are rumors, these stories, Good. they fit into the stereotypes of the mob, the, the wild, vicious, cruel Arab Muslim mob. And so who are capable of anything. And of course, if they see a white woman, they will rape her. And if they see children, they will, you know, just, just you know, kill them and so on. And so this feeds into the racism that's already there. I mean, Israel has was established by people who believed these things. That's why they treated the Palestinians the way they do over the last 75 years. You can't treat people, you know, murder people commit massacre after massacre, engage in, in ethnic cleansing and uh, and displacement and impose an apartheid regime on a people unless you you feel they're beneath you, unless you feel they're nothing. And that's exactly what Israelis think, so is, or, or, or believe. And so when they hear these stories, and this is true in the United States too, and to a large degree in the UK, when people hear these stories, they 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 are, they accept them because it, it it fits their their racist characterization of Arabs and Muslims anyway. That's why this rumor mill is possible. That's why these rumors are are spreading because people are willing to believe the worst about people who are Muslims and Arabs and Palestinians and so on. Um, so yes, people do believe this. I think, except for perhaps a minority of people who know better, Israelis are perfectly happy to believe this because it fits their stereotypes of of the of of the Palestinians already